Hi Gemini, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do uh, what Spirit wants you to see. All the good stuff. Uh, really hone in on what you're trying to manifest. I always say to everybody, envision what you want to manifest while you're watching the reading, right? Especially those situations that really resonate with you. Uh, that will help you attract it into your life. Now, if you enjoy this type of reading, please let me know by commenting, liking, let me know what you're trying to manifest uh, as well. So with that, uh, Gemini, let's get started here with your reading, all right? Let's see what my beautiful Geminis uh, need to see. What does spirit want you to see? Mm, okay, I'm going to pull the bottom of the deck. I'm also going to pull two cards here. What does Gemini need to see? Okay, nice. All right. Okay, so interesting because you have a number three. It says, be careful who you trust at you, you this, this time. So I do feel like this talks about threes for me or about communication. It also can talk about something new. Know that this can be about any area of your life, okay? I always see this card. It's kind of like um, this is a chameleon. So I feel like maybe when it comes to communication, because I'm seeing here there's going to be some choices, some opportunities. So you may be in a place in your life where there are going to be some decisions and choices in your life. And I feel like they're telling you to kind of be neutral. So when you're talking to people, whoever uh, you're talking to, you know, it could be friends, family, it could be love situations. It's almost like just be cautious. There's something here about being cautious and maybe not telling uh, everybody everything you know about your life at this time okay you also have here marriage and it says you are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love okay I'm gonna say here too this can be around a relationship this could be around somebody that you are committed to or maybe somebody that you see yourself in a relationship this also could tell me you're meeting people right this could tell me you're meeting people okay so the conversations could be with this person or it could be with friends or family okay take it how it resonates now your next card here is the eagle it says you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength okay so interesting okay so i feel like a message here around love and relationships there could be a situation where you're moving towards uh, a relationship that is committed okay i see eagles eagles are monogamous animals but i feel like this could also be about maybe you letting this person okay kind of how should I say, like open up, letting this person really give you clarity because this is a situation moving towards clarity is what I'm getting here. Okay, so I feel like that cautious energy, especially if you're single and you're dating or you're dealing with a particular person, I will say be cautious with this person. There's something here about this person giving you clarity. Okay, clarity, unconditional love right is this person really here for the right reasons and this could be a friend a family member is this person committed to me is the strong energy that i'm getting so i do feel like this is around some type of love relationship or friendship somebody that is meaningful to you okay so something about being cautious what spirit wants you to see now you also have your good choices it says expect a positive outcome from the good choices you have made in the past this talks about being in alignment so i'm almost feeling like is somebody here in alignment with what you're looking for and really this is really about you making some good choices and decisions you also have here helpful change. It says you will navigate through change successfully by allowing the universe to assist you when you need it the most. Okay, 
So very strong energy that spirit is sending you the signs, synchronicities here to help you move forward. And I feel like it's around some sort of relationship. They want you to make a really good choice, I feel, in some sort of situation here. Because they want you to move towards your destiny, what is meant for you. And I do feel it's really around people who love you unconditionally and are committed to you. Okay. So let's uh, see what else comes through for you. Thank you, Spirit. What else can you share with Gemini? Please share with Gemini what they need to see. Okay, all right, two cards popped out here. Let's see here, all right. Interesting, okay. So you got independence, and this is really about, I'm just gonna say, you being independent. This could be also, uh, some of you may be starting a new business. Uh, that's what I'm seeing here. Some of you I feel here too, around love and relationships. It could also be you single. Um, but it also can be about you stepping out of your comfort zone, all right? So there may be something in your life that you really need to take the lead, right? It's not uh, getting help from somebody else. It's about you doing it, okay? Because I also see here moving up. This card also talks about making some sort of powerful move. move. It talks about getting a promotion, um, and it can be also climbing uh, the ladder of success. So something here is leading to a step up. Okay, now it can be you taking, you know, getting out of your comfort zone. Maybe some of you are starting a business or you're getting a promotion or you're working towards that promotion. I'm sorry if you hear my dog barking uh, in the background, <laughs> but uh, you also have here a new life, okay? So some sort of new life here is happening. And it also talks about gaining a new perspective. So it's a, it's a time I feel spirit is saying like, maybe it's time to look at things differently it may be some of you, you've been in a position or a career for quite some time, and now uh, there could be some sort of a tempting opportunity for you, whether I start a side business, right, that leads into a full business, whether there is a new job offer, and this could really level me up. So there's something here about you making some sort of change. That's why I see choices and decisions. And maybe that's also why the cautious energy is there. Like, you know, kind of keep it to yourself. You may be making some sort of power move in your life. And spirit wants you to keep it to yourself for whatever reason, right? Uh, you know, maybe so somebody doesn't uh, start the same business or somebody doesn't apply for that same position you're looking for, taking how it resonates. But you also have here, roll the dice, okay? And this is really about you taking a step. And some of you, it's about taking a step into the unknown, right? It may feel risky to you. It's also an energy of, it might be time for you to step in the spotlight, Okay, so there may be something here, um, and I think I said somewhere getting out of your comfort zone because you do have influence here. Some of you, it may be, maybe you're thinking about uh, being like an influencer on social media. I'm going to say if you're starting a business or uh, a promotion, a leadership role, it may be like you doing interviews. It may be you have to do public speaking in this new role. There's a lot of different things, okay? But it's time. I feel like Spirit's saying it's time for you to put yourself out there. And as it relates to relationships and you're single, it may be really like getting out there and start dating people is that energy. So let's uh, pull the tarot. Let's see what the good blessings are that are coming towards you. So there's some sort of change. And I feel like once you make this decision or choice uh, with this marriage card, once you commit to it, uh, whatever this is, okay, there's definitely an energy of things coming into alignment and you receiving the support and the unconditional love, right, that you deserve. 
and the attention because there's also an energy somewhere in here uh something about recognition so let's see what else the tarot has to say for you gemini please share with gemini what they need to know okay and i'm hearing gemini don't overthink it oh my gosh i love that the first card is the empress the nine of cups wow the justice oh my gosh gemini what beautiful cards look at this you have one two three major arcana cards this is a significant change in time in your life and look what's on another major arcana the hierophant i'm going to first talk about uh the hierophant this could be a time like you feel a calling to do something. It can also be a time where you seek out a mentor. Some of you may be seeking out a, me a mentor. It could also be a, a time in your life where you, you're feeling uh, very spiritual as well. But uh, definitely this is an energy too. Like there may be somebody that you are already mentoring with or seeking advice. That can be this energy as well. But look at, I love this. With the independence card, you do have the empress. I said it. This could be somebody who is becoming an entrepreneur, starting a business with this independence. This it also can tell me this is uh, being in this place. Maybe you're single. Maybe it's time to do something new to get yourself out there. Okay. It's also a very uh, nurturing energy here. Okay. Time for you to nurture yourself and to do what's good for you, right? To create something. This is a very, also a very creative energy. You know, also, so it tells me there's the birth of something new that's about to happen here. Okay. And I feel like you're feeling called to do this because spirit's giving you the insights here moving you towards your destiny nines for me that's a nine up there with that eagle nines for me are about destiny okay and it says here you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength okay so spirit's leading you in this direction and look at this moving up right something's changing you're you're ascending to a higher level the empress here like the empress has gone through ascension this is like the best place you can be this is a card of luxury and a time in your life where you can feel good and you're in this comfort look at and the nine of cups this is fulfillment. This is happiness. This is feeling co content. Something's changing significantly here in your life, bringing you the abundance and what you are meant to have. And look, you also have here justice with new life. Oh my gosh, something is definitely coming into alignment. This also tells me something's aligning in your life, okay? And in with the thought process, I feel mentally here, Gemini, this is, you know, your head and your heart, right? Coming into alignment, bringing you balance here, okay? But there's some sort of fresh start with this new life. You looking at things differently. I'm also going to say I almost feel an energy of like living in your truth, okay? I'm doing what is fair and good for me is that energy I'm feeling, I'm going to say here, you know, let's say for, if you are married, you could uh, get pregnant, okay, or have a child, uh, or maybe some of you have children, okay, whether you're male or female, it's not about the energy, okay. So there could be a child coming here too, okay, that's always a blessing. And then look, you have the wheel of fortune, roll of dice, okay. And what does it say here? It's time to put yourself out there, okay? Things turning in your favor. This is uh, good fortune coming your way. Prosperity, closing out a cycle. Maybe a decision to make a choice that maybe uh, it's time uh, to remove something from my life so that this new beginning can begin. I'm just saying here, this is beautiful. Whatever this is, there's the birth of something new here. And I feel like, um, you know, you're being ve very much so guided here towards this new direction. So let's pull some Kipper cards. Let's see what else comes through for you, Gemini. What else can you share with Gemini? Please share with Gemini what they need to know. 
Okay, so you got mature person. Oh my gosh, sudden wealth. Wow. You do have concern. Okay, I talked about the thought process. It fell in that energy. Oh my gosh. Wheel of Fortune twice. You have great fortune here. Okay, with the Wheel of Fortune. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay. Look at this. You have a mature person. Okay, the independent card. Okay, I said here, I'm going to just say here, as it relates to money, career, or some other situation in your life, not love. We'll get into love in a moment. But there is some sort of transition here. And I feel like you're in a time in your life like you've matured, right? It's now this time for you to do this. You're in a good place. You may be more wise. Um, I feel here, okay, I'm going to say for some of you, you, I'm just getting here too. It may be a time in your life where you decide to get out there and travel. And maybe some of you are going to decide here to travel by yourself, all right? Um, but I also feel here as it pertains uh, to love, this could be you meeting a mature person. Now, this mature person can also be um, somebody older than you, okay? But it just can be somebody who has matured. And they're kind of in that same um, time in their life where they're ready, right? They're ready for a relationship. But I really feel like this is a time, too, where you're going through a transition in your life and you've become more wise. You've learned a lot. Some of you, it may even be your book smarts, right? If you, you know, you've gone to school. Um, but there is some sort of change here. And especially, too, if you're starting a business, this tells me you have the knowledge. You have the knowledge and the experience to do it. As strongly, I'm picking up there. Now, you also have your sudden wealth, okay? Three sevens, lucky seven, jackpot energy, um, 11, 11, happiness, fulfillment. As I said earlier, okay, moving up, you're ascending to a higher level, okay? Something about your status is changing. So some of you, you could be meeting someone, right? A relationship, you did have the marriage card here. There could be uh, something here where, you know, you meet this person or there's somebody in your life and things are going to be taken to the next level here. But something's bringing you a lot of happiness and fulfillment. Like I said, it could be a promotion. You get that job, that promotion. Uh, you're climbing that ladder of success. I love it, Gemini. Beautiful reading. Then you have here, okay, so I'm going to say here you have 11. You also have here repeating threes. Okay, so these numbers may be important to you. Okay, sign synchronicities. You have another number three here. So we have 333. Three, three. Again, that tells me the birth of something new. Okay, now we do have concern. We do have hesitation. Remember I said here, don't overthink it, Gemini. Okay, some of you may uh, be in your head about this change in your life. That's why I feel like spirit is helping you right now. They're guiding you through this change. You've got concern and justice, okay? And I talked about having that alignment, that balance between your head and your heart. Okay, so not letting the emotions trigger you, okay, to overthinking it, um, but really being in this place of balance and making a decision, right? where you what you feel and what you think are in balance okay and maybe looking at things from a different perspective okay so i do see hesitation here okay about this change okay this may be going on now or this may be upcoming okay it's because it is what spirit wants you to see and it doesn't mean that it's necessarily happened yet now roll of the dice okay putting yourself out there stepping into the spotlight this also talks about um, hiding your talents, okay? So some of you may actually have a very, um, you may have a talent and you're just not using it, okay? But I'm gonna tell you, if that's your story, it's time to use it because it's gonna bring you a lot of fortune here, okay? Prosperity here. So something, whatever you're taking the risk about, whether it's love and relationships, 
career, money, whatever it is, okay, and I would say money, okay, not not uh, putting your, not gambling here, but uh, it's bringing you a lot of good fortune. Beautiful. I love it. I feel like with justice and the wheel of fortune too, this is good karma coming your way. I feel that energy too. Number 26, which is eight, uh, also tells me, um, I love this energy. I'm going to go through it in a minute. But I love uh, 26 is 8 tells me there are infinite possibilities. And this number keeps coming up in the readings. Okay, 2024 adds to 8. Okay, 2024 is the year for possibilities. Okay, if you saw my yearly predictions, I say that. So number 5, transition. Bringing uh, some sort of new beginning here. Okay, the birth of something new here with the threes and brings about infinite possibilities. I love it. All right. All right, so let's see here. What's the guidance here for Gemini? Okay, intention. Yes, this is important. It says be clear and decisive. Focus on what you really want. Be bold with your request to the universe. Yeah, sky is the limit, Gemini. Really think about what you're trying to manifest, okay? And that's what I said in the beginning of the reading because there's hesitation here with concern. And that's why it's saying here, looking at things at a new perspective or differently, okay? That's what's gonna give you the potential for growth. You can see that, that small plant, right? It's growing. Oh, I love it. And celebration. It says, a positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success and enjoy your achievements. Yep. Yep. A very, very beautiful reading. And bottom of the deck, I'm going to leave you with this. You have the beloved card. And it says, prepare for your life partner. Romance is returning to your relationship. Believe you are lovable. So some of you, right, this could be a relationship that is going to become more romantic and some of you it is a life partner coming in for you too okay so gemini i hope you enjoyed your reading i hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and i'm sending you angela